Hello everybody, this is the second video for today. I know I had a long video talking about what's going to happen after I cancel the show, Thomas. I hope you enjoy it. This video, I meant to say. And let's get started. Are you ready? Here we go. So, this topic, we're going to talk about how I feel every day and then... I'm also going to share about what's going to happen after I move out. If you want to hear it, here we go. So, this is going to be the hardest topic ever. But, you know, I love everyone in my family. Despite living with them, they all get on my nerves, except for my cousin, Shani. So... You know, it's very sad, but I want to move out as much as I can. And when I eventually move out, I won't have to come back to my parents' house ever again. And I'll be on my own. Of course, I'll have a job. And then years to come, I'll be married. But I don't know who I'm going to marry because I have to focus on one thing at a time. So, um, the thing about my brother is that he's not getting better. I know it's very sad to hear, guys, but I'm praying for him that he stops being angry and I can be safe at home again. This is the hardest thing to talk about. And unfortunately... My loved one doesn't call a crisis team to help him. And he doesn't vent out with counselors like I do. So that's why it's always important, guys, no matter what your day is, you have to speak to a phone counselor. Even though they may not be the best, doesn't mean you can call them right away when you need help. So... I don't know when I'm going to move out yet. It might be in 2025. And my last month with my mother will probably be in December or January of 2025. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm predicting. So, like I said, you know, I've been doing good since I've been out of the hospital. And I miss everybody who loves me so much it is unconditional love and I feel like if it weren't for the doctors treating me good you know and giving me the right medication I wouldn't be here and that's what I kept telling you guys in my previous channel I mean previous videos that you know um I wouldn't be here if I didn't get proper treatment at the hospital because I was at White Oak Medical Center from January to February. And the first hospital I went to was Holy Cross. And they told me that I had a benign adenoma tumor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mentioned that before. And it was removed. And I felt happy. But, you know, with the weight... <laughs> I don't talk about it because it's too upsetting. When I came home, I wasn't able to walk like I did before. So it took a lot of time for me to walk again and have my strength again. So, you know, at least I'm a fighter. I'm tough when it comes to these things. I don't let things bring me down. I know this is an emotional video, but I'm telling the truth. So, you know, I wish people who are going through a lot to get better. And that's what I want to see is people change. So, like I said, if I move out in 2025, like early, I can finally get a job and be at peace. No more stress, no more anxiety, and no more sadness. Alright guys, this was a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to talk more about mental health another day. 
Thank you so much for subscribing, guys. I have 12 now. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. All right. I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.